gang. This is Tiffany's Funny Gang, and today I'm so excited because we are opening our storage grids. I got a 16 count cube set and a 9 count cube set. So I think the 16 count set is about 52 grids that I have. The reason I got two large sets is because I am going to be doing two separate housing units. I'm going to be doing a two story bunny condo with a uh, shelving in it for uh, my bunny lion. It's going to be for our boy bunny, and it's going to be on top of our six foot by two foot X pin. The second one is going to be an extension on our store-bought cage. We do have a store-bought cage right now. It's being used as a nursing and birthing center for Judy Hops. She is in it right now with her babies, which are one week old today. So we are excited to see the babies as they grow. Check out future videos for the uh, exciting adventure of watching the babies as they grow up. But today, let's get started on this project. I'm excited to open it, check out the storage grids, and see what all I got. I think I believe I got the white storage grids. I would have preferred black because the X-Pen is black, but the white ones were an extra heavy discount, so I decided to get them. I actually got these at an additional 20% off discount on Amazon. They are the uh, Song Mix. Song Mix, S-O-N-G-M-I-C, uh, Grids, that's the maker of them. Um, as I said, they are the Metal Wire Storage Cube Grids. So they're 14 inches by 14 inches, and I will post a link below for you to check it out. So let's get these unboxed and see what we have. And that is a lot of storage grids right there. Look at that. I'm so excited to get started on this. So I'll see you in a few minutes when I get it all unwrapped and ready to make our cage. First, you will need to unbox all of your materials and unwrap all your CNC grids. Next, you will need to decide how many of each panel size you will need. For this condo size, I did two 2x2 two two panels for the sides and two 3x2 two panels for the back and cage bottom. Remember, where you will place the doors, you will assemble with zip ties instead of the plastic joints that were enclosed with the grids. As you can see, this is not a difficult to assemble cage. My 6-year-old son Logan was a big helper during this project. Now that you have your panels made, start by securing one of the 3x2 panels to use as the cage bottom to the X-Pin. Use binder clips to secure this into place before you place your zip ties. Now you will use zip ties just like this to secure your floor bottom into place. After the zip ties are in place, cut the excess plastic and remove your binder clips. There are many floor options. I chose to make mine out of foam board and vinyl. Simply measure the area, tape your boards to size, and cover with vinyl. For more details, see my DIY floor video. The next step will be to assemble the back using a 3x2 panel and both sides using two of the 2x2 two two panels. Now you will insert your floor through the front and put on your two grids that will make your second story. These plastic squares came with my grids. I used binder clips to hold these onto the shelf and cover the wire and holes.
Now put on the front right panel. Okay gang, so this is what it looks like so far. I added that little shelf in so that lion can hop up from here to the shelf to this. Now, what I did was I simply used that same foam board. I covered it with shelf liner. I used binder clips to clip it on right there. And then I took a little wood section it is actually a signpost that I got for $1.88 with, from Walmart. I used a tiny little handsaw that I got from $1.97 at Walmart. And I simply cut it to 7 inches tall. I made a little angle on the cut so it doesn't go so far up. I put a healthy helping of glue onto that. And then I simply put it in the middle a little bit further back on that. So hopefully once it dries, it will be pretty sturdy. I'm going to test it out before I let the bunny on there. But that's what I did to make my little shelf. Okay, so here we have our finished product. This is our two-story bunny pin for lion. What we have here is we have a three by two by three unit. So this has a three by two floor space. We have a two by one shelf over here and we have a one by one shelf in the middle to utilize it as a stairs. I didn't want to do a stair unit so I chose to do a jump up shelf instead. You can of course customize this. That's the great thing about these CNC grids. You can customize this to your liking. I could have done it a little bit higher, but unfortunately, because of my height, it would be hard to reach, seeing as it is on top of the X pin. But this is a great way to build vertically when you don't have a lot of horizontal floor space. So this is a great way to get two bunny pins in one little area. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any suggestions of ways that I could do this better. Of course, I'm thinking of adding a 2 by one shelf unit over here, but I'm going to let Lion get used to this and maybe add that a little bit later on this week. Like I said, this is customizable to however you would like to do it. But this is a good idea, a good option, and I just wanted to show you how you can put the base on and utilize your X pin and still have plenty of space for a top uh, condo for another bunny. Right here, to open, you simply take the binder clips off, and you're going to utilize this binder clip right here. This holds your binder clips so you don't lose them, and it also secures the door so it's not flopping around everywhere. When you're ready to put it back, you just simply do the same thing and place the binder clips on. You are going to want to use the medium size binder clips or the large size binder clips, not the small binder clips, because it will be difficult to hold this and it will be difficult to go around. The only thing I used the small binder clips on was the small little step up shelf. So if you're interested in seeing more videos and more DIY projects for your bunny, please subscribe and press that bell notification. Thanks guys and share the bunny love. My name's Logan. Please subscribe to our channel.